Today, the Autogen fun continues. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up Autogen using a fully open source model, but using RunPod to host that model. And that means you can run even the largest open source model and have that be your agents powering Autogen. It's amazing. And we're gonna be using text generation web UI to power the API, and it is completely open source this time. You can follow these exact same steps to get it set up on your local computer, but I'm gonna Show you how to do it on RunPod. Let's go. I've put together a number of tutorials about RunPod. I'll drop it in the description below. So I'm going to go through this initial part quickly. But as usual, you're going to click over here to the Secure Cloud tab. You're going to make sure you have RunPod, the Blokes LLMs template right there. And I'll link that in the description below. Then we're going to scroll down and we're actually going to get this RTX A6000. Go ahead and click it. And before we actually continue, we're going to click Customize Deploy and we're going to add 5001 to the ports that we're going to expose. And the reason for that is because we're actually going to mimic OpenAI's API with text generation web UI so that it works seamlessly. And, and the text generation web UI API port is 5001. So once you do that, you're going to click set overrides and then click continue and then deploy. And this is just going to take a few minutes. And we're gonna be using Eric Hartford's Dolphin 2.1 Mistral 7B. I just put together a review of Dolphin 2.0 Mistral 7B and it performs amazingly well. Check out that tutorial. Of course, I'll drop it in the description below. But for today, right after I published that video, he put out 2.1 and that's what we're gonna be using. So on this page, you're just gonna click this little copy button right here and we're gonna hold that for later. And here we go, back to RunPod. It looks like everything's ready to go. It says running in the top right. We're gonna click connect right there. And then we're gonna connect to port 7860 and that's the interface. And see here it says port 5001 not ready. That's because we haven't enabled it yet. All right, here's text generation web UI. Now, we're gonna go to the model tab. We're gonna paste in Eric Hartford's Dolphin 2.1 Mistral 7B and click download. This is a relatively small model, so it only should take a few minutes. And it's important that you follow these step-by-step step because text generation web UI can sometimes be a bit brittle. So, so make sure to follow this step-by-step. Step. And we're using the unquantized version. So this is the vanilla version of the Mistral 7B model fine-tuned with the Dolphin dataset. And this is completely uncensored. And again, you can use any model you want. So you can even try the Falcon 180 billion parameter model on RunPod. You can really try any of the models and see which one works for you best. I personally want to try the biggest code llama models to see how it does with Autogen because a lot of the work that I do with Autogen has to do with coding. So I want to see how well it performs. But for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to show you this smaller Mistral 7B model, which is extremely performant for its size. All right, once it's done, it will say done. The next thing we're going to do is come up here and click this little refresh button. Button, and then it's gonna load the models, there it is. Now one little bug that I've seen is that after I click refresh, it has none selected, but it has a check mark next to the model I wanna select. And when I click it, it doesn't select it. So what you have to do to fix that is click none and then click over to Eric Harford's model, click load. And we're gonna be using the transformers model loader for this because it's an unquantized model. All right, successfully loaded. Now. Here comes the unique part. We're gonna click over to the session tab and we're gonna look for this open AI checkbox right here. And you're just gonna click it and then click apply flags, extensions, and restart. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna expose an API that reflects the open AI API. And it allows us to essentially have a drop-in replacement for the open AI API easily. And there it is, now we're done. Now click back to run pod and we see we have this connect to HTTP service 5001 available. And you don't need to click anything. Switch back to text generation web UI. You're gonna grab your URL from the browser and copy it. Next, switching over to our Visual Studio code. This is our Autogen application that we're building on top of Autogen. And everything else stays the same. If you need instructions on how to get this set up, I've already done that. I'll drop links to those videos in the description below. But the thing we need to change is this config list. So the API type, we're gonna keep as OpenAI, and then the API base, we're gonna input our URL for RunPod. Now the only difference is, instead of 7860 at the end, we're gonna put in 5001, which is the port that we need. Then at the end, we're gonna add V1, and that just specifies that we're using V1 of the API. For the API key, you can basically just put this string in right here, and then everything else stays exactly the same. So let's test it. Let's see if it really works. So 
here we go. I'm just gonna click play and here we go. Write Python code to output numbers one to 100. It wrote this file. So the coder to the user proxy says execute this Python code and then the user proxy executes the code and there's the numbers one to 100, perfect. All right, and that's it. So it continues because I didn't actually set up all the configuration for the user proxy correctly to terminate when it should, but it works. The point is this is now using Mistral 7B through RunPod to run your autogen agents. And it is completely open source because we're using text generation web UI, we're using an open source model, and we're using autogen. The only thing we have to pay for is RunPod. And technically, you don't need to. You can follow these exact steps and get it loaded up on your local computer. The only difference would be right here. Instead of using the RunPod URL, you would just use localhost. So just like that localhost 5001, and then that'll work locally. And if you wanna know how to get text generation web UI set up on your local machine, yes, of course I have a video for that, and I'll also drop that one down below. And so that's it. And I have a lot more Autogen videos coming. I have an advanced tutorial that's gonna cover a whole plethora of advanced topics and really go into the nitty gritty of how Autogen works. I have one where I'm collecting all the best use cases that I've seen, real world use cases, because a lot of you have mentioned, hey, you're showing us toy examples, show real world use cases that will actually build value. So I'm collecting that. Feel free to drop a comment below if you have a use case that you found a lot of use for. And then I'm also gonna continue working on integrating open source models into Autogen. And last, I'm building a personal project for it. So I'll probably share that as well. If you wanna see that, of course, let me know in the comments. And I wanna give a special thanks to Yvonne Gabriel in the RunPod Discord server who showed me how to do this and actually offered a little bit of live help. So thank you very much to him. And of course, if you want help yourself, feel free to jump into the Autogen Discord or my own Discord. Link is in the description. I hang out of there all the time. I also am starting to do some live office hours. So if you see me in there, jump in, ask questions, let's talk. I'd love to get to know you. If you liked this video, please consider giving a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.